you for tuning in to Sundays at the Square. I am your host, Tony Ringgold. I missed you guys for the past couple of weeks, and I'm so, so, so glad to be back. Man, this weather is crazy. All of this rain and everything has my allergies going out of whack. So I apologize to my listeners in advance. I know I sound really, really stopped up. I hope you guys got your Claritin, Zyrtec, or whatever you need on deck to get through this tough time. We're happy about spring, but goodness, the allergies is just ridiculous. Well, at any rate, I hope everyone is having a wonderful weekend thus far. I know that I am. And, of course, I have the um, the best guests um, come in, and they're just, they, they come and they talk to us. And although right now I am not in the physical presence of my next guest, um, I am really, really excited uh, to be conducting this interview today. Um, my program director, Trey the Chocolate Jock, shout out to Trey, said, hey, Tony, listen, I want to do an interview. Um, I want you to do, conduct an interview. And um, so we're going to do it over the phone today. But I am really, really excited about this. It's not something that I know a whole lot about. I think this is going to be very valuable information for all of our listeners. So make sure that you lock in to Sundays at the Square. And without further ado, I'm going to allow my guest to introduce himself. Yes, uh, my name is Mark Youngblood, uh, and I am uh, the Regional Recruiting Coordinator for, for the United States Census Bureau. Awesome. Awesome. So you are the regional, say that, that was, that was regional recruiting <laughs> court. That's a title, man. Yes, it is. That is a title, <laughs> you know? Um, so tell me, what does that even mean? So in short, that means that I am, I am the, the, <laughs> the uh, head of recruiting for the Dallas region, which uh, includes 12 states. Um, okay. in the United States. So I'm the head, of, the head of recruiting for 12 states for the United States Census Bureau. So why do they call it the Dallas Regional if, you, if it's 12 <laughs> states? That make no sense. <laughs> um, that, that is where, where the actual regional census office is located and okay. where I reside is, is in Dallas, Texas. So do you travel a lot? I travel a lot. I actually just got back from San Antonio uh, this morning. So yes, Oh, wow. Been, yeah, San Antonio this morning. I was in North Dakota last week. North uh, week Dakota. Oh, what's in North Dakota, child? Wait that's, a minute. That's part of our. It's part of our region. That's one of the states that, that, that are in our region. What's What's there though? <laughs> no, I'm just interested. Like, what's it look like? A lot of land and trees. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Did they have a Walmart? I know they had to have a Walmart. They They do have a Walmart. Yes. Okay. Well, that's one. They, they, they did. They did have Walmart. As long they don't as have I... very many bits. They, I, one thing that I did notice is because what I do is go out in, in our different states uh, to find advertising opportunities, since, uh, and we'll get into that in a second, since mm-hmm. we have to hire so many people. Mm-hmm. Um, and so one of, the, one of the media outlets that I use to advertise uh, is billboards. And uh, I've never been to North Dakota or, or any of the, the Dakotas before mm-hmm. working here, but uh, it's very odd because there are very few billboards in those areas in those states. Oh, wow. That's there. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah. Yes. And you don't ever hear anybody say, like, where are you from? Oh, I'm from Cali. Oh, I'm from, you know, Illinois. I'm from Florida. You don't hear anybody say, oh, North Dakota. Like, nobody says right. that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I bet it was, I, you know, it's it, it's cool, though. You get the opportunity to, you know, we, we live in a big country. And um, there's it's crazy how different the culture is and how you can, you know, you could be in the same country, but things are so different. And so I, yes. I get, I, I imagine you, you experience a lot of that. I do. And of course, Texas is in our region as well. And, um, and, uh, for the first time I got to go to McAllen, Texas, which is right along the border and flew into that airport there. Mm-hmm. Um, and you would have thought that you were in Mexico. Like literally yes. everything, was in, everything was in Spanish. Nobody, spoke English or barely spoke English. Like I really? didn't know there were places that there were places like that in the United States. Yeah. Wow. That is crazy. I've been on the border before. Um, but I I you know, I remember them speaking English. That is crazy. So you so you how did you listen, this is interesting. You're interested. Just hearing all of this is I haven't even let you come in and talk about what you want to talk about yet. But this is <laughs> this is like really, really cool. Did, like, how did you even decide that you wanted to do this job? 
So um, the reason that I decided to do this job is actually it's actually um, a funny story, really quick. Um, I've been in human resources and recruiting since I was 18 years old. I just turned 38 oh. last month, so about 20 years. Oh wow! Um, so I've worked in the transportation industry, healthcare industry, uh, worked in higher education, um, um, in different um, different areas of HR um, and recruiting. Mm-hmm. So, um, my last job, I worked for Warner Global Enterprises, which is one of the largest, one of the world's largest transportation trucking companies. Mm-hmm. And um, in the private sector, if you are really good at recruiting, you make a lot. It's like sales; you make a lot of money. Right. Okay. <laughs> so, um, I I got really good at the the the, the, um, the um, recruiting aspect of my job, and um, had um, gotten to a situation where. I decided to, well, I was in the position where I could take off and spend some time. I have two little girls. Yeah, uh, yeah. With my, gir- with, with my girls, I was going to take off for about two years. Um, this was, this that, that's was, the bomb. Uh, well, you could say, wait a minute, hold on. This man did not say. <laughs> Most people be like, okay, I'm going to take three days and I need to hurry up and get back to work. This man said, I'm going to take two years off. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. So. That's um, awesome. <laughs> so at the beginning of the school year last year, my girls came home and they didn't have school books. Uh-huh. Um, and um, I asked them how their first day of school went, was asking why they didn't have school books, and they said they didn't know. The school said that they didn't have any funding, they couldn't afford it. Um, I, of course, went down to the school board, did my research, and found out that the reason why that they, the reason why they, that, the reason why the school didn't have funding for schools um, is because. Um, people in the area that I lived in in that school district, they didn't respond to the census. At that wow. point, I had never, I never responded to the census. I had heard about it. Never knew what it was. I, I always thought, in my mind, before I started working here, I thought that they took the census so, they, so they, that they could raise taxes. Right. So I would never respond. I would never respond because I'm just like, I'm not telling them how much money I make right. where I live. Because mm-hmm. they're just going to raise taxes. Right. <laughs> which is totally a myth. And so... That goes back to what the census data is used for. It has mm-hmm. nothing to do with taxes. It's used so that the government knows where the population is. So that's what the census is, is that, is that we count everyone in the United States. And based off of that data, they, 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 they give each state allocations of billions and billions of dollars of government funding. And then what the states, what the states, um, responsibility is is that they have to do checks and balances and report back to the government where they're used, where they sent this money, and where they're in, and where that money is utilized. Well, okay. if a community does not respond to the census, they can't justify sending money to that area. Really? So that so that's why my my daughters did not have school books because people in my neighborhood and in my communities in my areas in that school district they didn't respond to the census so the state could not justify even though even though there were people living there and there are and that school was full and they needed school books and they needed school supplies the the, the state could not the state of texas could not give that school the funding they needed because um because the, the numbers did not match and they could not justify that to the government that is wow you just enlightened me on like so many. I, I didn't know that. I, I didn't know either. that. Right. And I remember like, okay, the last time. See, I'm not to tell on myself, but the last time I remember anything about a census, I was a little girl, and I remember people coming to the door with the clipboard, and they came in the house, and sat down and got all our information. Right. And my mom, she definitely participated in it. Right. Um, now, I have to get yeah. census. <laughs> <laughs> so to answer your to answer your your, your question, as I'm as, I, as I'm talking about, you know, why why I'm having this conversation with you and and how how I got in this this position. So decided to take two weeks off, resign from my job, um, and they they you know the owner of the company actually came down and you know, bidded me farewell, actually told me that he would pay for my health insurance for the next two years because I had done, done a, such, such a good job. I was off for a week. Wow. And my mom called, my mom called and, um, and she said, hey, 
you 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 remember when when you were upset because the girls didn't come home, you know, with school books, and it was because of the census. They're hiring a head of recruiting for your region, and it looks like the office is like twenty five minutes from your house. <laughs> Lord, Mama, I'm supposed to be out for two years. <laughs> right. <laughs> So um, I told her, and that's, and that's what I, you know how moms are, because I told her, you know, I was like, I'm, I said I'll take an offer you. She was like, well, you know, you know what I always tell you, um, if, if you're not, if you're not part of the, uh, part of the uh, solution, then, then, uh, part then, of the then, problem. Then, then, then you're part of the problem. You can't complain about it um, if you're not going to be part of the solution. And, she, and then she said, well, who else better to do this to um, than you? Because you've been, you've been recruiting for all, you know, for literally your, your whole adult life. Right. So I was like, okay, mom. I was like, okay, mom. I mean, it's a government job. Everybody play, pay, you know, everybody wants to work for the government. So I just thought to appease her, I was like, I'll just go ahead and apply. So I went in for the interview, <laughs> did right. the interview, and then uh, and walked out and still thinking in my head, please don't call me. <laughs> right. <laughs> and they <laughs> they called me. They called me the same day. The same. Wow. Afternoon. The same uh, day. Well, why did day. you just go in there and bomb? No. <laughs> you must have killed the interview. Listen, it's like I don't know how to be anything but great. <laughs> right. That's awesome. Okay, so right. that's how you joined. Wow. Yeah. That, that and is so, how I ended up in this position. How long have you been doing this? So I have been doing this about a year, about a year and three months now. Awesome. And 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 okay, so Let's talk about the census itself. How often do our census conducted? The 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 ten year, there, there's a the 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 the, the uh, constitution mandates that the census bureau that they count everyone in the United everyone in the United States once every ten years. Now um, the the census has has surveys that that are you know go on year after year after year and they update you know, small areas and populations and housing numbers and unemployment rates, all that stuff comes from, from, from the Census Bureau. Um, but, um, but, but, the, but the 10 year census, the huge operation where we count everyone in the United States is done once every 10 years. And not okay. only is that data used for, like we talked about, for um, funding for um, schools, it's also used um, for um, law enforcement, mm-hmm. hospitals, hospitals and and healthcare, um, for repairing roads and safe and, and communities and highways, and most importantly, um, for congressional seats. So at the end of the day, what I always tell people what the census is about, it has nothing to do about taxes. Right. It has nothing to do about, about tax, uh, uh, wanting to wanting to uh, tax you uh, um, and take more money out, out, of, out of your, your paycheck. It has to do with money being dispersed to states and communities and power, congressional power. Okay. Okay. Wow. That's a lot of information that you just gave me. And it and it what it shows is is how often, you know, you know, fake news rules the world. Like honestly, right. we we have to really do our research and we have to read and get an understanding so that we can make the best decisions. And you're right. We could play so much about different things going on in you know, in the community, in the world, whatever. Um, but there are certain things that we can do. This is something that is completely free. Um, for it's, you don't have to do anything, you know, crazy to participate. And it literally helps to shape your and your children's future. So um, this is great information. What we're going to do is we're going to take a quick break. Um, we're going to pay some bills. But, guys, if you're just tuned in, you tuned in to Sundays at the Square. I am your host, Tony Ringgold, and I am speaking with Mark Youngblood, he is the, give me your, your title again. Regional Recruiting Coordinator or just Head of Recruiting. Yes. For the Dallas, for the Dallas uh, Census Center. Yes, that's awesome. We're going to take a quick break and we're going to learn more. Stay tuned to Sundays at the Square, only on B106.